Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. Uh, just a little housekeeping note before uh, I talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the industry. Uh, we are approaching our deadline for high point market submissions. So uh, please, if you're watching this on Friday, the deadline is Monday. If you have new product introductions, please send us photos and information about those products and we will make sure to get you some coverage in our high point market issues. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, an issue that is continuing to be uh, important in the furniture industry, and that is acquisitions. Uh, you may have seen my column last week talking about are you a buyer or a seller, because it seems that's the way the industry is dividing out today. Uh, the need for scale, if you are in any segment of the business in, where, in which uh, the ability to deliver volume at speed is becoming more important, achieving scale, technological scale, uh, logistical scale, uh, buying power scale, manufacturing power, all of this is becoming more important and we continue to see that becoming a more important issue in the industry. Um, perhaps somewhat ironically, uh, within two days of my last column about this issue, um, we got notice of two additional acquisitions that uh, will probably be announced in the coming months. One of them you may be hearing about in the high point market time frame. Uh, there are a number of acquisitions that we're currently tracking. Obviously we don't report rumors, uh, but there are a number of things that you will be hearing about in the coming months as companies look to either enter new market segments, enter new pricing segments uh, to achieve, as I said, scale. Uh, or even to, uh, to just grow their business. So this is an issue that we're going to continue to track and it's something that uh, you, if you're running your business today, you probably need to take a look at whether you uh, want to position your company for a sale or whether you may find it necessary to, uh, to get the necessary capital to go out and make an acquisition yourself. The other issue that we're seeing uh, start to emerge again as we head into market, and we wrote a little bit about this in October, and it still is a big issue, and that is price increases. Raw material costs continue to go up. Foam prices are going up substantially. Uh, we've already seen some people in the bedding industry announcing price increases. We're starting to see a number of people in the upholstery segment uh, try to announce additional price increases. Uh, we're working on some coverage of that, and we will have more information and more specifics for you about that in the coming weeks, uh, but that is an issue. It is a reality and it's not going away. So uh, till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business. <laughs>